In the last video, I flew to America and purchased the most requested truck for me to build on the channel, a second gen 12 valve Cummins. We are taking this truck from stock to something absolutely insane, just like the golden Cummins right here that we built last year. This is episode number two, enjoy. Ladies and gents, the time has come to drive all the way across Canada to get the new truck wrapped. That's right, we have the whole rendering planned out for this truck. Nobody's seen it yet. It's completely a secret still. But what you guys are gonna be seeing by the end of this video is what this truck looks like completely wrapped. And let me tell you, this thing is gonna look sexy. And needless to say, this canvas is a lot more rough than I initially expected it to be. I just picked this thing up yesterday from Buddy's shop. We got all the body work done. Got all these corners looking good. Fixed all this down here. This used to be all bent and rusted in that one spot before. We got it all looking clean. The whole body, everything looking clean and smooth. And the worst part of the body was right here. Before it was peeling, rust showing, everything like that. Now, nice and smooth, baby, ready to get wrapped. So we got a 13 and a half hour drive to make it to Raptors, so. Let's go, baby. This is about to be one of the baddest 12 valve Cummins in the fucking game, baby. He's like, hey, yo, is that a fucking 12 valve Cummins I hear? All right, so about four hours into our ride today, and we just got pulled over by the cops. Hey man, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Do your license registration check? Ian, your tint is way too dark all over the place. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll grab your license and vehicle registration today. For sure. It's an American truck. Cool. And I have it temporarily imported as a commercial vehicle. Do you have any documentation of that? I do. I have a bunch of paperwork here. Perfect. Also, make sure all my stops tonight do mandatory alcohol screening, okay? Sounds good, man. This mother was driving on the other side of the divided highway and he spotted how dark the windows are in this truck. And that's why he pulled me over because where I'm at right now is called Saskatchewan and apparently there's no window tint allowed here at all. You can't even have 50% on your side windows, let alone, you know, 15 on the windshield and five on the side windows, but we ain't got no ticket. So we're good to go. <laughs> Let's see how many times we get pulled over for this on this journey. Uh, what the f What? I just finished driving through like, 30 minutes of rain? What the f First of all, why the f would there even be a light that says water and fuel? Second of all, how the f did water get in the fuel? Like, what the f to Calgary. One of the weirdest things about driving here yesterday was I only had to stop two times for fuel. Two times in a 13 hour drive. I'm literally mind blown right now. I just did the math on this trip and I drove 825 kilometers on one single tank of fuel in this truck. And I mean, yeah, that's cool and all. You can save money and go really far, but at the end of the day, you're still in a stock height truck and nobody cares about that shit. All right, we got $200, 127 liters in this truck, baby. Sheesh. All right, guys, so we are about to start wrapping the second gen Cummins right now. We got more than just one vinyl going on today. We got a couple things. So right here, we have the satin black from Aura Vinyl. Also got some support from Vinyl Frog on this truck. I'm not gonna tell you guys what kind of color is in this box. You're just gonna have to watch this video to find out. But we are doing the truck in two different colors, maybe three. You just gotta watch the video to find out, man. We're gonna go talk to the owner, Ahmed, here and see how fast he thinks we're gonna be able to bang this out. Bro. What up, Mitch? Yo, dude, so we are back for another wrap. Did you know it's almost been a year to the date that we did the gold one? We're wrapping this whole truck in a gold chrome. This thing's gonna be insane. These guys obviously killed the rap on the Golden Cummins. Now we're back again. We are. And dude, they don't know what we're doing exactly yet. I think this final design is gonna definitely go f***ing crazy. I'm excited to see what happens once you put the lift and everything on it too. It's gonna look f***ing crazy. All right guys, little update on the truck. So I went back to the wrap shop Today is Tuesday. The truck needs to be done by Thursday night. So we got about 48 hour time window right now 
for these guys to do this entire wrap. I'm gonna roll back here tomorrow, check in with the boys. Guys, to say the least, things are not going as planned with the wrap on the second gen so far. So what I ended up doing is actually flying back home to Manitoba to give the wrap shop some extra time to do some things they needed to do in order to start working on my truck. Now today is Monday and I am flying back to Calgary to go pick up the truck and oh my God, I saw one teaser pic of what the color looks like on this truck. You guys are gonna freak out when you see what this truck looks like. I'm gonna freak out when I see what this truck looks like. We're just gonna go hop on a plane right now. It's time for the wrap reveal, baby. Let's get it. Guys, it's time. We are here at Raptors right now. This is crazy, let's go. All right, I can't look at it yet. You can't look at it. You just gotta keep your eyes down. Your left. Whoa, what the f Bro, this is crazy. <laughs> Such a different gold than my first truck. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fucking wild, bro. <laughs> oh, the black is so much better than the freaking white truck, bro. Sheesh. Diesel fuel only. Shit, I've been putting regular in this bitch. So it kind of looks fucking weird because we don't have the, the blend part yet. So right now they're probably like, oh, that looks ugly. What the fuck is going on here? What you guys don't realize is we're putting something right here. And once that's there, well, you just gotta watch the video and see. It's gonna look way better. There's nothing <laughs> like a chrome wrap to fucking set your shit off and make literally everybody see you rolling down the road. This is insane. Black turned out so good. Obviously, again, grill, bumper, that's all getting changed later. We got some temporary blacked out headlights in there just so we can have a decent look going on right here in the meantime. And then we got the new tow mirrors. That's right, baby. We rock that shit out all the time. Huge thank you to Boost Auto Parts for being part of this build and giving us the capability of having freaking powerful mirrors on a 1996 truck. And not to mention the switchback turn signal DRLs built into these things as well, which I absolutely love. And it really makes the truck just seem more modern having those type of mirrors. And just look at how shitty the mirrors were before. It's an unbelievable transformation. Blacked out cab lights on there. Such a good upgrade for the cab lights. We got some temporary tail lights on there, blacked out. Take this shit off. Bam. Yeah, it's way better than those right. stocks for sure. And we're running the bumper delete kit for now. You already know we got some sick ass bumpers coming for this thing though. Bro, that's that's the next video that I'm uploading on the channel. Whatever's in that box right there. Oh, yeah, man. I can't know what's in here, eh? Yeah, I have no idea, bro. I got no idea. I can like start to see the vision of what this truck is actually gonna be now. And this is, this is real exciting, real exciting. And they still haven't even seen the rendering yet. You guys are really gonna see what the f this is all about. Okay folks, honest thoughts about the truck right now. Having half gold and half black. I think it looks weird as f but we are headed to the other shop right now to cut the in-between piece and really tie this whole thing together. So do not judge the look of this truck right now. Just wait until you see it with the decal placed on there. As you Americans say, we call it decals up here, but whatever. So we were so close to having this thing finally, finally fucking done. It was <laughs> not me guys, it was not us. Cut out the wrong part of the logo. Now we gotta get it redone and everybody's closed for the weekend. So, SOL. Here we are, back in Manitoba, made the journey home all the way from Calgary and now, all we gotta do is head to a local wrap shop and finish this freaking wrap once and for all, folks. It is time to get this shit done.
literally cannot stress how much better this freaking truck looks with the blended piece. Honestly, it looks so weird just being a half and half black and gold truck. And this blended piece with the logo just brings it all together so nicely. And I'm honestly really happy with how this shit turned out. Absolutely freaking massive. Thank you and shout out to Raptors Calgary for once again killing another chrome gold wrap and project for the channel. These guys killed it with the Golden Cummins. Chrome is one of the hardest wraps to do on a vehicle and these guys absolutely killed it on the first truck and of course I'm going to go back for the second truck. Also a huge thank you to Aura Vinyl and Vinyl Frog. Aura Vinyl came through with the satin black for the front and then we got the chrome gold and PPF from Vinyl Frog to finish the box off with. So thank you guys so much for being part of the build. And for those of you who haven't caught on, we did wrap the whole entire chrome gold bed in PPF over top. And we do this for a few reasons. Number one, the chrome scratches super easily. You have to put the PPF on top. And what's crazy about this material is if you do scratch it, it is self healing. It literally reforms the surface and makes it so the scratches aren't noticeable anymore. It's freaking crazy. Obviously, if you scratch the shit out of it, it probably won't heal it. But for little micro scratches and stuff like that, it literally heals itself. Now we just gotta get these freaking ugly ass wheels and tires the f out of here because they do not match this truck at all. They don't fit in at all. They look so awkward, but guess what? Two weeks, two more weeks, and we're gonna have that shit on the truck. Make sure you subscribe to see the next build series video. We have so many more in the works. In the next video, I'm dropping the entire rendering. The size of lift that we are doing on this truck is gonna blow your mind. And with that, we conclude build episode number two, ladies and gents. Subscribe and see you in the next one. There is no other force out there that determines your limitations except for your own thoughts and your damn mind and what you believe is possible. So just remember that when you have a really big goal or you're trying to accomplish something great in your life, you're the only mother standing in the way setting those limits for yourself. That's it. Nobody else.